Hello guys and welcome to Money Gilica Photoshop Action Tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to properly install and use this action. So if you have any questions or anything else you can con contact me through my GraphQL portfolio. I mean GraphQL profile. Uh, you have a message box from the right side of my profile so uh, if you did everything like I will do in this tutorial and you still cannot um, get this action to work please contact me uh, through email and I will help you and you will help me to fix something if you have some sort of error so please do everything like I will show now uh, in this tutorial and you you will get this action to work. So first thing I'm gonna show you some examples of this action so as you can see it creates a nice money money uh, art style look to your uh, models you can see when I zoom in, uh, you can apply this section to your model only, but uh, you have a uh, also op option for the whole image. As you can see, this is whole image, and this is just uh, the model. So as you can see, background stays the original way. As you can see, when I zoom in, you can see all the details. So you can also uh, get effect like this one with just this kilika on uh, on your picture, but uh, without that background color. I mean, base background color. As you can see, it creates very nice effects. Money, money look. So uh, let's get straight to the tutorial. First thing we need to check is that your Photoshop is in English. So go to Edit Preferences and Interface and check that your UI language is set to English. Next thing, go to Image Mode RGB and check RGB color and A bits channel. Um, after that, go to Layers here click on this little box here and click panel options and check this here that is uh, need to be checked as you can see um, well uh, next thing you need to check is that your um, picture is uh, loaded in layers tab like this here with this background written in italic and this lock here and if it's uh, if it's like this, um, just go to click on it, just go to layer, new, and background from layer. So everything's set up, but before uh, we proceed to load the actions, I'll need to note that you need, um, for this section, you will need uh, high quality pictures in order for action, action to perfectly work. So as you can see, uh, if you wanna adjust image size just go image image size as you can see this picture is about two uh, it's over 2000 pixels so it should work just fine uh, this action will work for the pictures above uh, one one and a half thousand pixels so let's load the patterns for this section so press S on keyboard or go here and choose pat pattern stamp tool and go here as you can see this box uh, next to align this and click on this arrow click on this box and click load patterns so go to your actions uh, action folder here and load the money action pattern 
as you can see it's loaded now or you just can go uh, cont left control plus O to open something and find these patterns and they will show here. Next thing uh, go to window and actions and open this action tab to load the actual action um, uh, click on this box again here and click load actions and now again go to your action folder and load Manigilica ATM file open it and you have two options you can choose uh, to only apply this action to the brushed area or your brushed model or you can apply it to whole image so I'm gonna first show you how to apply it to brush model so create a new layer and name brush like this without caps uh, uh, just brush if you name it anything else action won't work so that's very important so now uh, grab grab quick selection tool select background and select your model so um, if you wanna de deselect some parts just uh, hold down left control and brush so we're just gonna brush the model so the br um, sorry model is brushed so now uh, choose any color and go, uh, select brush layer and hit uh, left left alt plus delete to fill it with foreground color here this is foreground color this is background color here so left control d to deselect and now we are ready to uh, play this section so wait till ex action is finished it uh, as you can see it um, won't take much time to load so as you can see it's a little bit uh, dark so you are just gonna um, delete everything to restore to normal as you can see here's the brush and now just increase the brightness of this image so go click on background click here go to brightness and increase it to maybe 60 and uh, hold down left shift and merge this layer as you can see and now uh, the picture is brighter so again hit this I mean play this action it, it uh, this brush layer doesn't need to be visible because it won't affect the action so again play it and now it should be fine as you can see now action is just fine as we want it and it created a very nice um, a money money killer effect so now I'll explain what, uh, how you can edit this. So, first thing to quickly close this folder and any other, and all of these folders is just to hold, hold uh, left alt and click on this arrow here, and it quickly close everything down. And as you can see, you have main adjustments. There's some that are just some basic. Um, image adjustments so next folder is Gilica and you have a Gilica shading lines as you can see and you have a, a model base color and when we turn that off it uh, will uh, just hide this uh, white background uh, color and it will leave you with this original image and this uh, shading, Gillick shading here. So um, you can open this and change the color of Gillick. So you can change it to uh, any color you want. 
and if you want a brighter color just change from color to no normal here as you can see and then you change you can change to any color but I recommend staying on blend mode color because it's, uh, it's a nicer way <laughs> to color these lines because it will it won't affect the aesthetics of image so uh, that's the first layer here and you have uh, gillic shading lines and you have the uh, six layers so you can um, simplify these shadings by uh, hiding some of these layers so you have a light shading one light shading two and you can as you can see when you turn off some layer or this one you see how image simplifies you have these dark shadings as you can see these are the shadows and these are the highlights so as you can see it simplifies the picture so you can do that uh, also you can brush out any of these layers so you can brush out this whole group by selecting brush selecting soft one and selecting uh, black for your foreground color and as you can see you can brush it out or you can brush out just the uh, shading lines or you can brush out this um, background color as you can see you are also this um, uh, shading uh, shading lines color or, or these all shading lines or just you can brush out uh, specifically one of these six layers so maybe this one or maybe shadows in some some part as you can see uh, and it's basically you can do and create uh, your custom look with this and uh, now I'm going to show you uh, how to apply this second um, second action here to the whole image so you don't need to brush anything just open your picture do the old steps like I did for this one here and for this one you don't need to have to brush and just play it and it will create the same effect but the only the, uh, the only change that will uh, affect all all the picture as you can see uh, is the uh, same principles uh, you turn off the background base color and you have the gillic shading also in the background and you can edit it the same way so that's it for this tutorial uh, go on uh, graphic river follow me there uh, subscribe to my youtube channel uh, download this section uh, if you haven't haven't downloaded it you have a link description link in the description you also have a link to my portfolio and my other items so please go check it out and as I said, subscribe to my YouTube channel for future tutorials, future actions, and that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and peace out.